Good morning guys, happy Tuesday. I hope you guys morning. are all doing well. So today is day 12 of Ramadan. I am looking you believe it, day 12. worse for worse, but um, so yeah, today morning we are gonna be painting. So hence the no makeup, the hence the casual kind of jogger outfit. These are my painting joggers, as you guys can see, there's paint, paint on it. So yeah, we are gonna go out and we have one more wall to paint. We are gonna start the morning painting. Are you excited? Adam looks like a tramp in his outfit. <laughs> and he's a god. You look like a tramp. It's fine, I look like a tramp too. It's absolutely fine. It's a windy day today, that's for sure. Guys, here's the wall we've just painted. We're gonna let it soak in the sun and hopefully it dries quickly. But yeah, that is done. It looks so much more better and more brighter. Kind of goes with this wall now. Yay! What did you do use on that? It's pink stuff. It's called pink stuff. All in one. Guys, part. you know the spray, the I pink stuff I showed you guys yesterday. It's literally amazing to clean off any like grease. It's so cool. Look, Look how it. easily it comes off. Basically, you so spray it easy. in the sun, you leave it for a few minutes, about five minutes to soak in, and then look at that, and no effort, and it's coming off. That's so crazy, isn't it? Yeah. You guys, time to spritz down my most used um, gadgets at home. This is literally amazing to like obviously disinfect all your gadgets and kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. So all I do is get my most used gadgets at home and then give it a little spritz down and then I will leave it there until it's fully dried and bacteria free. Such an easy hack but honestly it works amazing for your go-to gadgets and yeah, thought I'd share that with you guys. Okay guys, so we are finally ready for the day. We have finished painting, which is amazing. The paint... We just decided to bloody clean the whole I don't know, again. it's so odd. You know me and Adel when we do something, like say we start, I don't know, cleaning the surfaces. By the end of it, the whole house is clean. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know why we have this obsession. We do one thing and then the rest of the house is like spotless after it. We're, Does anyone hardly, else do that? We'll hardly talk to each other. One will be in the other, uh, the other side of the house. Well, like <laughs> military, like one's heads down, one's doing this, one's doing that. And then when we finish, we come together and we're like, oh, the house is clean. How did that happen? I do not know. So yeah, basically we, uh, we painted the wall and then we flip and clean the whole house so the house is spotless again which is great i mean it's always important to have a good house um, a clean house but that happens so we've had a shower we're fresh we are ready for the day can you guys see my outfit <laughs> perhaps you can it's a little maxi dress or whatever crop jumper from a boohoo white leggings and a navy blue scarf yes I look girly again and I'm not happy about it. Yes, really girly. <laughs> Anyways, we are off out now. Adol fancies chicken pasta for iftar. I'm down for pasta, you know. I haven't had pasta in ages. So, oh. so um, yeah. We're going to have chicken pasta for iftar today. Are we going to we gonna get some bits for barbecue? We might do barbecue tomorrow or Friday. Yeah. Boiling hot. Yep, true that. In the garden, in the um, garden. In the previous clip that I showed you guys of Adol cleaning the, what's it called? The grill. The grill. That is basically a grill slash um, log fire that we bought Green from wall. Lidl um, a while ago. And it's literally amazing. I think it was like 40 pounds and it was literally the best thing ever that we've ever bought because it's two in one, a barbecue and a log fire, too big for your which is amazing. Bring it too big for your boots now. Bring we watched, so funny, we watched Blue Story the other day. If you watched it, then you'll know. It's such a gangster movie and all he could do is just like... Why don't you see the young ones, innit, bro? Young ones, innit? <laughs> and then I'm a, sh I'm a shank you. I'm gonna leak you, bro. There you go. Okay. We're just gonna end it here. And then... Yo, we'll... blood! We are you doing, blood? Just because you look like a gangster today, literally. <laughs> what the hell is this outfit? Come on, darling. It's a nice outfit. Come on, man. Anyways, we shall catch you guys outside. <laughs> Yeah. 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 
Okay guys, so I thought I would show you guys what I got from Modernesia now. So I placed a haul a couple of days and I got my box. So I thought I'd open it up with you guys and show you guys everything that I got from Modernesia. Now you guys know I absolutely love that place. They are, they are amazing for like modest wear, um, hijabs, this, that and the other. They do so much. So um, I've got my box. Um, I'm going to open it up for you guys, do you guys a little haul show you guys some new outfits this is kind of what i do i love showing you guys like fashion outfits and stuff like that so that's what i've got there for you i also have a discount code for you guys they've kindly given you guys a discount code so i'll leave that link down below for you guys use my discount code and the link i give you then you can get money off because why the hell not if Wow, everything just fell on the floor. Amazing, love that for me. <laughs> so the first item I picked up is this absolutely gorgeous kind of, it's like a jumper dress. It is definitely a jumper dress. I've got the exact same in white, so I thought I'd pick up this gorgeous nude color. Um, I love anything like cream, nude, literally calls my name. Actually, in this haul, the theme of this is like nude white. I'm just loving those colors at the moment. It's perfect for like spring, summer. Anyways, this is the most comfiest, chilled out outfit. If you want to pick up one outfit, this is the one. I would definitely recommend it. So it looks like this. Let me stand up and show you guys. So it's basically a jumper dress that's long, modest, comfortable, gorgeous. Like, look how nice this is. This is literally perfect. Like, look how nice this is. This is basically a plain converse. You can obviously switch it up and obviously dress it up or dress it down. Accessorize it with like a bag or a belt if you wanted to. But I absolutely love it. I feel like this is a classic and it go well with so many different looks too. Right, the next outfit I picked up, I think, what is this? I think it's like a shirt dress, but it's again white and nude because I told you I'm literally loving those combos together. Okay, the next item is a shirt as you guys can see it's really loose oversized but what i loved about it is that you get a hood with it guys how convenient would this be to pray in like you know when you're like you just need like a scarf like when you're around the house and you just need to pray in new scarf bam you've got a scarf covered <laughs> it's so nice kind of has like a bit of a moroccan theme i suppose you could say so yeah i loved it you got a bit of um, these buttons on the side, so if you wanted to open it, you could do pair with like some white jeans or some white leggings. It would be really nice. And you get a belt to go around if you wanted to. Um, I really, really like it. Um, I'm excited to wear it because obviously you get a hood with it, so it's going to be so convenient, literally. So the next outfit I picked up, since it's May now, obviously April, May is in the UK rain 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 so i picked up this gorgeous like nude raincoat so when i want to go out and it's like not really cold as such but it's rainy this would be ideal so let me show you guys how that looks so this is obviously a raincoat as you guys can see but i fell in love with it because it's long very very long modest comes way underneath my knees and obviously you get a hood and it's actually a nice raincoat because some of the raincoats are literally ugly and this is gorgeous because it's nude and white and it's just so so nice nice big oversized just what i like so i can just pair it with like some leggings it'd be ideal next item i picked up is some linen white trousers so i've been looking for some for literally the longest time ever but every time i seem to pick it up it's usually really really see-through and i thought because obviously it's modern easier they're not going to make it as see-through hopefully so these are some white linen trousers and they look like so. The high waisted, you got this paper top style trousers and I really, really like it. Like proper fresh white. By the way, all of the items I picked up is in a size small or size eight. Now this is a size eight as you guys can see and it just looks like so. So I'm really, really excited for that. I need some new white trousers. The only white bottoms i have is white jeans so i thought let me get some linen trousers okay so the next item i'm about to show you is something i'm really really excited about i've been waiting for this specific item for so long again it's a nude because again you know i love my nudes this is such a beautiful shirt dress this is going to look so nice paired with like some white skinny jeans and like some like slippers or open shoes or 
white train is it's gonna look so ideal guys this is beautiful how nice would this look with some white jeans you get a little belt with it as well you've got pockets and like buttons all the way down like two little shell buttons all the way down i absolutely love this and it reaches just over my knee so very very long and modest how gorgeous is this i'm so so happy it feels like really good quality very heavy duty too okay so last but not least i have the most gorgeous dress ever now i am in search for some eid inspired outfits now when i do my hauls i like to inspire you guys as well because i think of you guys so i know that obviously eid is around the corner so i want to obviously pick up some eid inspired inspired outfits to inspire you guys as well so i picked up this stunning when i'm saying stunning stunning eid outfit now i have placed an order today actually today morning to somewhere else in um in which i have ordered a lot of eid inspired outfits so i'm going to be doing a haul and um, coming soon inshallah it's basically going to be eid inspired outfits so look forward to that but in terms of this outfit you're gonna want to pick this up using my discount code that's all i'm gonna say because it's not really it's not you could wear this for eid you could wear it for like a wedding it's that extra so it looks like this how gorgeous is this dress it's like a beautiful maroon and gold detailing it is absolutely stunning wow it's a bit long but paired with some heels i think it's going to look really really nice but oh my god am i so happy with this outfit wow this is gorgeous so like I mentioned, this could be obviously worn for Eid or it could be for like a wedding or like an occasion or like your nikah. I'm actually so happy with it. Like it looked gorgeous online, but now holding it, it feels so heavy. It feels like it's been made in such an immaculate like wow i'm just so so impressed with that yeah guys that is everything i picked up from indonesia i'm so happy with everything you guys don't even understand like i'm so excited to wear some of these pieces so i'll probably wear them like throughout my ramadan vlog so stay tuned and uh, so you guys will see how they look on because i know you guys like a good try and haul but so yeah stay tuned okay guys time for iftar i'm making some white sauce we've got pasta um adults doing the chicken marinating the chicken cutting the chicken so he's gonna add that in his pasta so here is the white sauce that i'm making i've got the pasta going here i've got the vegetables going there so go 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 here <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm just about to make some mango lassi and I thought I would share it with you guys. So the recipe that I do is so straightforward. It's like all you need is three ingredients, literally, it's that basic. So I have our cups here. All you need to add is two tablespoons of yogurt. And then all you need is some mango pulp. Now you can buy this pretty much everywhere. And this only costs like a pound 50, I believe, for a massive tub. So yeah, this is amazing. I'm gonna add three tablespoons of this in the cup. And then I'll add some milk, some water, and a drizzle of honey and blitz it up and that is it you'll come out with literally the most thickest creamy the best mango lassi you'll ever try so honestly try it out if you love mango lassi like we do this is literally the best mango lassi you'll ever try no we're no weird of a lie literally i've got that much trust in it Okay, you guys, let me show you how creamy this mango lassi is now. I'm gonna pour it in a glass and you guys can see for yourself. If that's not creamy, then I don't know what it is. 
looks amazing. Okay guys, it's time to break off fast. And today, on today's menu, we have creamy pasta. As you guys can see, like this is so nice and creamy. I'm so excited again. We have mango lassi. We have some aloo tikka from yesterday that we didn't finish off. Of course, dates, hummus. Adol's got his chicken um, pasta over here. It looks really, really nice. And we have extras. So yeah, this is going to be a real feast, that's for sure. So yeah, day what, 12? Yeah, day 12. Day 12, yeah. complete. Mm -mm. Well Bismillah. Okay guys, so we have had our iftar. We've prayed, all of that good stuff. And now we are, just, wow, look at me. I look red because of the traffic light. We are just en route to uh, drop some food off to my in-laws. We had some extra chicken pasta. And obviously we didn't want to chuck it away and stuff. We'd rather give it to someone who's going to get obviously use out of it. So I'd rather give it to my in-laws. So I know they're going to appreciate it and they're going to enjoy it. And I, actually the pasta was amazing. I'm not going to lie. It was oh, such a thank nice... you. Thank you. Yeah, I'll give the credits to Adol. Adol actually cooked the pasta today. It was amazing. I'm literally so stuffed. And then we had mango lassi for dessert because that's literally a dessert in itself because it's so heavy. But it's amazing, so tasty. Do you know I miss fudge poppy? Remember, we used to go at night. Oh, yeah, fudge poppy. We used to get like little waffles and stuff, waffles Waffle and sticks. sticks. Yeah, that was nice, to be fair. So, what's one thing you've learned in Ramadan so far? Just put this light on, you can see a little bit. What do you mean, in what sense? Like something that you've learned, like lectures or like anything that you've learned. What's one thing you learned so far? Yeah, I learned the story of uh, Jibrail al Islam and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and the, the relationship between, between them. Yeah. The lecture, uh, they were really thing. close. Yeah, well, uh, Jibril, Jibril really loved um, Jibril alayhi salam. He really, really loved Muhammad um, alayhi salam. We've watched a lot of lectures this Ramadan. We've like learned also a lot. to appreciate what you have. Do not yeah. complain because. They've had it a lot times. harder. Like there was a time, subhanAllah, uh, back in the days obviously when the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu was praying and you know when like the before the Islam, the whole Islam was actually such a thing, what they did is the kuffar they used to get the rocks and put it on his back when he was praying, subhanAllah, because they obviously didn't want him to pray and stuff like that. But um Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he was like such a strong, powerful individual and um, he still took it. It just comes to show that he's such a strong character and that's someone I strive well, to be like. Well he never used to do anything back. He never used to answer, he never used to talk back. Yeah and he never used to complain. He had faith in Jibril Jibril Islam that Jibril Islam will protect him. Yeah. And, and he, he would trusted answer for him. and he trusted um Allah and he believed in him so much and it's such a beautiful thing and as someone I strive to be like have that Iman in our hearts not to kind of give a shit about anyone really and believe in your religion no matter what anyone does to you or say to you like that's so beautiful like who wouldn't want to be like that do you know what I mean so inshallah may Allah make us um, strong in our Iman and may Allah you know lead us on the straight path and be a great example of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam like that's what we can obviously strive to be inshallah peace be upon him, peace be upon him. but yeah guys um, I think I'm going to end the vlog here I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog day 12 of Ramadan Alhamdulillah before we know it it's going to be like half of Ramadan over before we know it that's going to be so crazy I can't believe how quick Ramadan's going it's kind of sad though this Ramadan feels a bit odd because obviously we're not like with family we're not going out like when like you know, going out to eat for iftar, we're not, it's, it's a bit different this Ramadan. So most of our oh, like easy, footage obviously is at home because we have to be home. Um, so yeah, it's, it's quite sad though this Ramadan, isn't it? But we are trying to make it fun for you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying it nevertheless. Um, please give us a massive thumbs up so we know that you guys are enjoying these vlogs and we shall catch up with you guys really really soon inshallah in tomorrow's vlog i hope you guys have a good iftar i hope you guys have a good evening and we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow inshallah, inshallah salam. Salam.